Hey guys, welcome back to Open It and Play. This is Mike and I just wanted to go through a quick run through of what I'm working on for my customs right now. Um, I have the old Toy Biz Drax the Destroyer and my original plan was to make it so his head was another option for the modern version. But unfortunately, um, it's not going to fit well because this head's so small like in the back. His face part is very big, but so... Um, my plan has kind of changed. I might try to sculpt that to be larger in the back, but uh, my main plan is to cut off these hands and make them fit on this uh, figure by giving them kind of their own tabs. They won't be so flexible, but they should give it some more options. And uh, the fist is actually bigger, so I think the proportions might look cool with this guy. And this big open palm might be a nice change too. Okay, and then just now, I'm working on a very simple thing. It's just a simple repaint of this guy. Whoops. Count Nefaria. But I'm doing a really lazy, just a repaint of this guy. Um, I think if I get him into one pose, I'm not actually going to move him around much. But he is going to be Graviton instead of being... Uh, whoops. Instead of being... Uh, Count Nefaria. And then I modified this old Doctor Strange head. I gave it a uh, uh, sculpt, a little bit of sculpt work with green stuff to give him a goatee that's full and this little wisp of hair in the front where his widow's peak is to match the artwork for Graviton better. Okay, that's that guy. And then I've been working on this uh, Vampirella to change her into Moon Dragon, and I think I showed a lot of that before. So uh, I drilled the hole in the back to go with the cape, and basically I'm ready for the sanding stage with this figure. There's the feet, but um, she's coming along nicely. I just need to sand and paint. And for the other Vampirella that I'm customizing, this one is the Executive Replicas Vampirella also. But I'm going to have her be the Force Works version of Scarlet Witch as she appeared in like the debut issue of Force Works. For the head, it's a little bit hard, but I'm going to use this uh, Rogue. Just a moment. X Men. X Men. What is it? X Men Age of Apocalypse Rogue. And I'm going to pop off this and sculpt her hair in the front to try to match the Scarlet Witch hairstyle from the comics. Okay, I hope I said the right names there. Earlier when I recorded this, I screwed up and I said Scarlet Witch instead of Black Widow, but... And then for this arm, it's a little bit more challenging. I gotta uh, shave off this uh, bracelet on the bi... or this uh, armband on the bicep to make it skin color. The other one, I'll sculpt it, sculpt over it to give it a red finish and for these little gauntlet pieces I'm going to change them to be uh, gloves so they can kind of stay the same. Then we have uh, Crystal from the Inhumans in her 90s Avengers costume and I'm using the, um, is it Moonstone? Moonstone body but I sculpted this to give her a bigger bust and to match the uniform that she has then she's going to use the Grey Black Widow's Avengers jacket. I'm sorry, the lighting on this is probably going to be pretty bad, but so use that. And then she has these arms. So she is also getting close to done. Okay, and then the last big one that I have is the thing that we showed before. Oh, I forgot to bring her head out, I think. But this head is the Black Widow from the motorbike. But I think this is maybe Pepper Potts hairdo, if I remember right. So a little bit of a change. Then this thing that I did before, um, I'm going to change it a little bit. I'm going to take off a little more of the black from the outside of the rocks to make it a little bit lighter. I'm pleased with it overall, but it's not perfect. And then I'm going to... Come on, there we go. I'm gonna, I finished this one with a wash, but it didn't work as well, so I have to clean it off a bit. Okay, and then I bought the Mezco head 
one sculpt that is the yelling thing and this this sculpt is really cool I feel so I wanted this one for for this figure and I painted it a lighter color and then I'm gonna give it a wash you can see the size of the head is very similar if my camera would ever focus it really doesn't want to focus on this video I'm sorry there so this one's a very dynamic uh, face expression so and the last two guys I'm working on <coughs> are the blood brothers they are the Iron Man villains from space kind of Thanos' lackeys we have uh, both of them using these cheap uh, Avengers video game kind of failed video game uh, hulks I'm trying to uh, sculpt their feet to be taller and then I'm gonna have to do their heads because they don't look anything like the Blood Brothers right now. They have those lopsided arms, so I also have to shave off some of the uh, muscle from their right arms to make it match their left arm. It's not terribly noticeable, but it's noticeable enough, so. Okay, thank you for joining me. I just wanted to go over the things that I was working on right now. I have a few more projects, but uh, most of them are kind of smaller things or just in the starting phase so all right that's it thanks guys see you on the next video